All right, what's going on, everybody, man? I thought I was done talking for the day. I thought I was done. I thought I was done recording for the day, man. Like I just put out a video talking about the fairy tale special swimsuit and uh, final season DLC costumes, and about how they're very expensive, seventy-five dollars altogether. And as soon as that video uploaded, I went on the PlayStation Store, right? I went on the PlayStation Store website, and I just searched fairy tale, and I see all this other stuff. And I'm just like, I gotta talk about this. I was about to live stream and just talk about it, but I decided, let me go ahead and just record, and just, just do this regular. This is ridiculous. Y'all called it. If anyone, if you thought that Koei Tecmo... Did some slimy stuff in the past when it came to DLC, when it came to expensive cosmetic items being DLC in the past was stuff like Dead or Alive. Yeah, they're pulling that crap here. And what makes it so bad is that they're going to get so many people with this. Because here's the thing, they are taking advantage of the fans. That's the worst thing. And that's, that's something I didn't mention in my other video. It's like... They're taking advantage of the fans. So let me go ahead and get right into this, right? And I'll leave the links in the description for everything I'm about to talk about. But the first thing we got to talk about is that season pass. There's a season pass, and I don't think any of this information has been confirmed already. I don't think any of this information has been announced yet. So I'm, I think I'm like the first person talking about this. So yay for me. But this is ridiculous. So this season pass, so here's the thing. So the season pass, according to the website, it's going to be available tomorrow, August 6th, right? And the season pass, get this. Make, make sure you're sitting down before I before you continue the video, because the season pass is $90. This got to be a mistake. There, this has to be an error, right? The season pass is $90. 90 bucks. So what do you get with the season pass? And I'm just going down the line here, right? So for the season pass, so on August 6th, if you buy the season pass, you get, and I, it says limited edition growth lacrima. So I'm not sure if that means that on the 6th, uh, anybody that got the limited edition will get that lacrima also. So I'm not entirely sure about that there. But on August 6th, you'll get, the uh, growth lacrima, so there's that. On August 20th, uh, you'll get Levy and Leon and Leon. So Levy and Leon are coming out August 20th. On September 3rd, on September 3rd, and uh, I should mention this: Lazana and Elfman. I mentioned this in my previous video, so I just want to reiterate: Lazana and Elfman are bundled together. So those are coming September 3rd. And then also coming September 3rd is is a set of very difficult requests, um, S-Rank missions, basically S-Rank requests, and uh, the 10-year quest and 100-year quest. So more S-Rank missions, basically, are coming September 3rd. And then September 17th, we have the we have a additional dungeon called the Rift in Time and Space. So that's coming September 17th. So just to run it down again, we have August 6th, we have the Growth Lacrima. August 20th, we have Levy and Leon. August 3rd, I mean, not August 3rd. September 3rd, we have Lazana and Elfman. We have the S rank request also. We have the 10 year quest and 100, and a, and 100 year quest. And then September 17th, we have a additional dungeon, Riff in Time and Space. So that's all you get for $90, right? That price is insane. I d most season pass are like most season pass are $30. Most season pass th that I've seen are like maybe $20, $30. And all you're getting are what? Four characters. Levy, Leon, Lazana and Elfman. So you're getting four characters. You're getting uh, some more quests, which those could be those could be anything. Those could be something as simple as kill kill twenty of these uh, of these creatures, right? That could be anything, right? 
And then we get a additional dungeon, and of course, uh, Lacrima. And we don't even know how big that dungeon that dungeon is gonna be. We're, we have no clue. We really don't have any clue how how big that piece of content is in regards to that dungeon. So, yeah, this is this is just insane. And for that price, like we don't know what we're getting outside of those DLC characters. <laughs> Like, this is ridiculous. Like, like I said, like, most DLC, most DLC season passes are $20, $20-$30. Like, the, um, like, the My Hero Pass, that was, like, what, $20? This is ridiculous. For $90, that's the, that's over the price of the game for the DLC. This is just, a, this is a very, very slimy business practice right here. Very slimy. And it, it, and it hurts so much because the game literally just came out. And the models, the character models and, and the moves are in the freaking game right now. So it really leads me to think that they cut a lot of this content out. I, I gave Gust and, I gave Gust and uh, Koei Tecmo, I gave them a pass plenty of times. When I saw throughout the story that, that I played so far, that character models and certain stuff aren't in the game. I wanted to give them a pass because I was like, okay, it's probably a budget thing. But but this this just makes me believe that they just cut corners. Ninety dollars for this, right? And and that's not even the worst thing, right? Because that season pass doesn't get you that season pass doesn't get doesn't give you um the costumes, the 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 freaking costumes that people want. They should at least add the costumes in there, right? Any any other any other self respecting company that that isn't trying to milk their fans would would do that, right? You you would think, you know, that's reasonable. Ninety dollars. I mean, not not even reasonable for for that price. But come on, right? At least add the the costumes in there, right? But nope. Cause here's the thing. That's not. That's not all. That's not the only thing I have to tell you about. So if you haven't seen my other video, basically every single costume that you see that you can purchase is five dollars a piece. Every single costume. And get this, right? So those of y'all. So some of y'all might already know about these special swimsuit costumes, right? And then the um, the dress up costumes. And then there's the final season costumes, right? And each one, I lie to you not. Like I said, I will leave the links in the description. The special swimsuit costume for all 16 playable characters is $60. The price of a freaking game. The price of this game itself. They are wild for this. <laughs> and that's not all, like... Not only not only is the swimsuit costumes sixteen dollars, right? But the dress up costumes are sixteen dollars. And same thing for the final season too. Yep, same thing for the final season. So all together and, and let let me get let me go ahead and calculate this, right? So all together, right? So we have 60 times 3 because for the final season, like let's say you wanted to get all of this, right? So for each of the uh for each of the costumes, for each for each of the costume sets, right? That's what? 180 all together? 60 times 3? 180? And then the season pass. So the season pass is 90, so that's like what? I'm not good at math. Okay, 270, right? 270. And let let's say that you that you bought the standard edition, like like me, right? So all together, you would spend 300 and dollars for the complete fairy tale experience. 330 dollars if you bought the standard edition of the game. Now. Here's the thing, and I, I want to also check this, because I don't know how much the Digital Deluxe Edition is. I, I want to check that right quick, so give me a second. The Digital Deluxe Edition 
is $122. And y'all didn't get, yo, if you bought, if you bought that, if you bought that edition of the game, I feel so sorry for you. If you bought the digital deluxe edition, like you should sue this company. $120. And what did you get extra with it? The Team A costumes. And that's it. <laughs> the Team A costumes and then like um a Lucy costume. And some lacrima. And that's it. But all together. 120. Plus 270, right? That's like what? Hopefully I'm not messing up. Hopefully I'm not messing up my math here, right? So all together that'd be $390. To get the complete fairy tale experience, you'll be spending around $330 to $390. I don't like to tell anyone, okay, I'm not even gonna say that. Cause there have been times in the past where I told people, don't buy this, don't support this. And honestly, if I said that here, would you really blame me? Would you really get mad if I said, don't support this? And honestly, I would say, wait for reviews. You know, wait for the review when it comes to the, the DLC characters. Like, really look into that and really think if, if you really, like, really think about whether or not you want to spend this type of money. I mean, for cosmetics, cosmetics, $60 for cosmetics. You can't do anything else with it. It's just cosmetics. And then for the characters themselves. And then, okay, so here's one thing that I didn't check, though, because the season pass comes with every single uh, character, right? And what I forgot to check that I'm going to check right now, so give me a second. What I forgot to check is the individual prices for each character. So let me go ahead and do that. So please forgive me. If it's up here right now, I will tell you. If not, then I would just wrap this video up because I don't want it to be... I don't want to be too long. But, uh... Yeah, I don't think it's up here. I don't think it's up here, so... And I could be wrong. Let me just check again. No, I don't think it's up here. Nope. I hope they don't think... I hope they aren't trying to force people to buy that season pass. How... Yo, do you know how grimy it would be if they tried to force people to buy that freaking season pass? In order to get, the, in order to get access to those characters. Because I don't see it up here. Unless I'm looking in the wrong place, I don't see Levy, I don't see Lazana, I don't see uh, Leon, I don't see nobody. I just see that season pass and all, all this costume DLC. This is ridiculous. This is on some, this is, this is worse than Dead or Alive. I swear this is worse than the Dead or Alive thing. Please, y'all. They, so they put out a, a feedback survey, right, the other day. I did a video on it. If you don't know about it, go go find that video. Go 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 to that link. And y'all got to send them feedback. Y'all got to hound them on Twitter. Please tell this company to stop. This is why I don't support Koei Tecmo games. I swear. And I don't mean to, to go in a bit of a rant, but this is ridiculous. This is why people have a problem with DLC, with, 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 with these sort of practices like this. Because this is taking advantage of people. $330 to $390. People, that's the cost of a freaking PlayStation. No, I don't even think the PlayStations cost that much anymore. I don't even think the PlayStation 4 even cost that much anymore. You could buy a Switch. You could buy, you could, like that's almost part of a payment for probably a next gen console. And they want you to pay that for this game. And I love this game. But am I going to spend freaking close to $300 on it? Even for like even for the views, like, like me being a YouTuber, right? Me being a YouTuber, if I wanted to cover this, 
do y'all even think that that's worth it? I, I have to even, like, even I have to say, like, even I have to question that, right? This is ridiculous, man. This is freaking ridiculous. And, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much for y'all. But this is, this is outrageous. I, I mentioned this in my other video, and this is the last thing I'm going to say. But y'all remember the time... Y'all remember the time when 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 we were kids, and some of y'all who who grew up, I guess who grew up in like the late two thousands or whatever. When, I don't know when you were born, but back in the day, we didn't have to pay for costumes. You just had to do some challenges in the game, or, or do some crap, or even just buy it in the game with with, with in game currency. But like, we didn't have to deal with with this DLC crap. It's amazing. It's 2020 and companies are still ripping people off with DLC. This is sad. All right, I I've talked I've talked enough about this. Uh let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe, share the video out. Please share the video out. And hey, if you don't feel like liking the video, if you hate the video, if you hate the sound of my voice, go ahead and hit the, hit the dislike button, whatever. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Regardless, I'm out of here. Peace.